get start us off. I'm Beth. And you're from? I grew up in the uh, up in uh, Twin Cities in Minnesota and live in Waterville right now. And what's one thing about yourself that you would like to share with other people? I love the Lord. Okay, that's good enough. And our next person is? I'm, I'm Mel. And what's one thing that you would like to share with us? I volunteer here at the Barrel Hill. Okay. And our next guest, the hostess with the most guest, who is? I am Beverly, founder director to Following His Dreams Ministry uh, with the outreach of Barrels of Hope for the World. Okay. And what's one thing that you would like us to know about yourself? I just want to do more for Christ. Okay. Uh, every day I try to contemplate at what more can I do mm -hmm. to further his kingdom. Okay. Thank you. And now we're going to have a time of you guys questioning me, but I'll set this up so it doesn't, so it doesn't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I can always edit, I can always edit the video anyway. I think, but we'll still get the sound. So, who wants? You want to start us off, Bev? What, what what question would you like to to ask? Well, I would like to ask you uh, what what point. Uh, you can hold this, and you can see, and then you can ask me, and then you can point the camera at me. I'll probably break it. <laughs> uh, I would just like to ask you uh, what brought you to the Lord? Okay. Well, when I was a teenager, I was uh, my favorite question to ask anybody, like most teenagers, is why? Why do I have to do this? Why can't that be true? And I was always raised that churches and Christians were dangerous, dangerous places and dangerous people. From my from my parents' experience, so I always said, "Well, why is that?" And all that sort of stuff. And then later on, when I was a te old, old, an older teenager, I thought, "Well, if they're so dangerous, let's go for a bit of danger." And I rebelled against my parents. So I rebelled against my parents by going to church, and then I found out this good news that about about Jesus. And I thought, "Well, if that's a bit of danger, I'm going for it." And the reason that I'm a Christian is because he first loved me. And I answered his call. Wonderful. And that was back in about 1981 or so. And he's been with me ever since. So how did you find your way to uh, England? Uh, in 1986, I went on six months uh, missionary tour of India with some people and I met up with some people and I said let's come to England and Europe for six months I said okay let's go so I did they came they went they uh, they went off and did Europe and then eventually left me and they went back to to Australia and I said now I'm going to stay here for a bit longer and that was in 1990 so and that's when you met your wife and I, and I had a job I, was, uh, I thought, well, I've got a job here, might as well stay. And then I met my wife in uh, 1994. We met at church, and uh, she was new to the church. I'd been leading an international group of about 50 or 60 people within this large church. And uh, we met up one Sunday night, and I told some silly group, silly joke to the group there, and she was probably the only person who laughed. <laughs> she thought I was funny. And that was it. <laughs> yes, so we, we met and married within within four months. I know a good thing when I've got <laughs> Yeah, and she's been with me ever since. Yeah, she saved my life a couple of times, but we can get on to that later. Huh? Uh, but she's not she's back in England at the moment, working hard. She's my main support. What is your church background? Well I was baptized as a I was baptized as a Baptist in a in a Baptist Union church. And then so that and then in nineteen eighty nineteen eighty six I went off to uh do uh, a Bible college for 
two or three years. So I've got one degree there, and that's when I've got my first degree in theology. And that's where I met these people who went to India with. And they, that was where? In Australia, oh. in central Queensland, up north. We, we, were on a, we were located on a farm, so to pay for our tuition, we had to work on the farm. My job was feeding the pigs. Well, lucky you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was great. No, they were only small pigs. They were great fun to wrestle, wrestle in the mud and then go into lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and they say that pigs are the closest animal to humans, so I can oh. see that. <laughs> particularly with some of the humans that, that I've known. And then when I was in uh, London, I mean, I was in a large church, a large Episcopal church of about two or 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. And uh, they used to, at the time, have an international fellowship for people who were only in London for a short time. And I end up co-leading that. And then I'm now associated with a independent Baptist church. And they're the ones who sent me out here. And at the moment, because I'm away, and there's one of my accountability partners also away, they're having a very quiet time in church. Okay. So... That's where I'm at. That's my background. So. And your wife is still in England? Uh, yes, she's still in England. We tried to raise the money for her to come over here as well for at least a week. But uh, that didn't come off. But we're used to having four or five weeks off. She's having a break. <laughs> that's, that's what she said in church. I mean, I'm having a break and went, yes. <laughs> so she has a sense of humour. Uh, you have needs children? Uh, we have no children. That was a... We decided that from the very beginning. And according to my wife, I'm 300 years old. Oh, wow. It was my, birth, it was my birth, 300th birthday on Monday. <laughs> Happy so belated she has a, birthday. She has a sense of humor. 